Hello and welcome. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create your first text messaging campaign with Callfire. The first thing I'm going to need to do is log into my Callfire account. We go ahead and skip this step for the time being. And because I'd like to create a text messaging campaign, what I'll do is move my mouse over the red box and click on the box that says send text. Now there are a couple of different ways uh, we can uh, send text messages, or rather there's a couple of different uh, numbers we can send text messages from. We can send it from our shared short code. We can also send it from uh, a long code or a 10 digit number that Callfire uh, can uh, sell you as well. For more information on uh, getting your own shortcode, please refer to our enterprise sales team or also refer to the help documentation located right here. And then for more information about buying a long code, please refer to the help uh, documentation in this section over here. Now, one comment I want to make uh, regarding uh, sending text messages. One, it needs to make sure that he or she has written consent from the folks that he or she plans on sending those text messages to prior to sending out those text messages. In this uh, de demonstration, I'm going to assume that I am the principal of an elementary school, and I'm going to notify all of my uh, teachers and all of the parents that school is canceled for the day because there's a large snowstorm outside. So the sent from number will be Callfire's shared shortcode. This is the number that will appear as the caller ID on these uh, parents and on the teacher's phones when they send out my mass text message. I'll go ahead and just type in my message, and I'm limited to 155 characters. There it is, I'll press next. And now I can upload the numbers that I'd like to send this text message to. I can either upload numbers straight from a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet. I can also choose a list of contacts that I've already added to my Callfire account. I can simply add a one-off contact to send this message to. If I wanted to cherry pick and generate um, a list of Cell, uh, cell phone numbers to send this uh, message to from other campaigns. I could do that using the filter option, or I can simply copy and paste my phone numbers in. I'll go ahead and use the upload for my computer option. Select that list. Now Callfire is gonna go through the phone number validation process. I'll go ahead and I'll select to use manual uh, mapping. All that looks fine. I'll press the green submit button. Now Callfire will continue to go through its phone number validation process. The green circles mean that everything is uh, okay. A red circle means that there's something I need to uh, look at or fix. So I'll go ahead and uh, retain that number. Retain means I want it to be included in the campaign. Scrub means eliminated. So that's fine. It's likely the column header that uh, it was reading as the invalid number. That's all right. I'll press continue. Looks like everything else is okay. I'll agree to the terms of service and I'll press continue. And finish. Great, all my numbers were uploaded. Notice how it says a total of four, and uh, in description it says three remaining. The reason it says a total of four is because Callfire was interpreting the column header of home phone number as a phone number, which is why in the description section it only shows three remaining, because in fact there are only three numbers that are eligible to receive that text message. I'll press the green next button. And now I can go ahead and give my, uh, voice, uh, my text broadcast a name. So I'll go ahead and do that. I can add a schedule to my campaign if I want my calls to go at a later date and time. In this case, I want them to go out immediately, so I'll press start immediately and then press finalize. I'll then go to the details section so I can view this campaign. Go to text records and I can see that my numbers are ready to go out. I go to visualize and I can see a heat map where all my text messages are going out. I go to contacts and I can then see where all my, uh, or all the numbers that are uh, in this particular batch of numbers that I've uploaded. Go to settings, I can adjust my settings on the fly and go to compose and also adjust my uh, the, the nature of my message or what I'm going to say on the fly as well. And it looks like my account is under review, probably just a precautionary me measure from Callfire. But assuming that my account was in fact approved, we go to text records and then the status would say uh, sent instead. That's all I wanted to show you in today's video. If you have any further questions, you can always go to the help documentation by pressing on the word help. 
and then pressing on the word learn more for text messaging. Thanks for watching.